I read, Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel, you can put Nigeria, you can put Isheri, you can say Lagos, you can put Koshufe local government area. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Lagos State is that they might be saved. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. For they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believeth. Verse 5. For Moses described the righteousness which is of the law that the man which doeth these things shall live by them but the righteousness which is of faith speaketh on this wise say not in thy heart who shall ascend into heaven that is to bring christ down from above or who shall descend into the deep that is to bring up christ again from the dead but what saith it the word is nervy even in thy mouth and in thy heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thy heart that God had raised him up from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jews and the Greeks. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. How then shall they call upon his name whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah said, Lord, who had believed our report. So then, faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. May the Lord bless the reading of his word in the name of Jesus Christ. Shall we bow our head as we pray? Our Father and our God, we thank you. We thank you because you have loved us with an everlasting love. We thank you because we do not desire that any should perish. We thank you because you have put a plan in place to make our life beautiful. Lord, we celebrate your faithfulness. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we give you glory. Be exalted, our Father. Be exalted, our God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, covenant day of the kingdom, the kingdom of God. Jesus told them, he said, the kingdom is within you. Hallelujah. Now, the kingdom of God is talking about the reign of God as far as life is concerned. And it starts with you. The kingdom of God, first and foremost, is within you. Do you believe that Jesus Christ is the King of Kings? Do you believe that he came to die for you? Do you believe that he abandoned his throne in heaven and came to this earth to be able to present himself to you so that men will be saved from their sins? Have you heard that Adam committed sin? Have you heard because of the sin of Adam, man was jeopardized and expected to die permanently? But God 
sent his only begotten son that you and I through that grace might be saved and Jesus came and shed his blood for you so that you might be called the blessed one of God throughout the last two months we have been talking about investing in the kingdom of God being a steward of God's kingdom this morning we summarize the entire message stewarding the kingdom everything that God has made God has made it for us God has made it for your joy God has made it for your enjoyment God has created all things good for you that you loving and serving him may have your life in enjoyment hallelujah so if for any reason your life cannot be called enjoyment you are the reason why but I want to believe that today we are all going to come to a point of repentance where we we'll say, God, we want to walk with you. We want to serve you. We want to love you so that we can just enjoy only this world, but also enjoy in eternity with you. Hallelujah. In the book of Mark chapter 10 from verse 28, Peter asked Jesus a question. He said, Master, we have left all. We have followed you. What shall be our reward? We have left off. Peter had a wife. He left his wife and followed Jesus. He was having a boat where he was fishing. In fact, that was where Jesus met him. We have left all. I left my fishing boat and the nets and I followed you. What shall be my reward? What shall be my reward? And Jesus gave an answer in Mark chapter 10 verse 29. For everything you have left, you are going to receive a hundredfold in this life. In this life. The time you're supposed to use to watch a movie, like some of your friends, you've decided to use that time to pray. You decided to use that time to worship. You decided to use that time to read your Bible. The time you're supposed to go just hanging out with some friends. You decided to use it for intercession. We have left all. We, sh we have followed you. What shall be our reward? And Jesus said, Whatsoever you have left in this life, whether it is time, whether it is money, whether it is friends, whether it is your boat, whether it is your hobby, whether it is something that makes you happy, you have left it and followed me in this very life, you shall receive a hundredfold. Hallelujah. That is to say, because you are serving God, this very life will be more sweeter for you than it would have been if you were not serving God. And after that, you will spend eternity with Jesus. Hallelujah. That's why I'm not always com comfortable with preachers that just preach about heaven. Heaven is real. It is true. But Jesus said, because you are on the right track to heaven, you will first enjoy in this world. Amen. That's a pointer to show you that you are on the right track. That you are on the right track. You are walking with God. Because you have left something to follow Jesus. Jesus said, in this very world, you shall have a hundredfold of what you have left. And thereafter, eternity with Jesus. Hallelujah. So in this very special Sunday, the special day of the covenant of the kingdom of God, my prayer for you is that you will be wise to do the right thing. That you will serve the Lord with all of your heart. That you will commit to God so that you can make it to heaven. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say, how can they hear until they have a preacher? He said, no need for anybody to go to hell to say, he want to dig hell where I can see Jesus and bring him up. And there's no need for anybody to go to heaven to say, he want to bring Jesus down so that we can see him. He said, the word of God is near you, even where? In your mouth. Every one of us was ordained a preacher to preach God's word, to tell the world about Jesus. If Jesus is walking in your life, 
then you are the very example that Jesus wants to use to touch the world. There are some people looking up to you as a Christian and they want to know what God is doing for you. There are some people trusting and believing that if, if you are serving God this much and God is not helping you, there is no need for them to serve God. So they want to hear from your mouth that God has been helping you. They want to hear from your mouth that you have a testimony. If you have a testimony, can I hear you shout hallelujah? Because when the Holy Ghost came, people thought it was just to speak in tongues. <laughs> Jesus said, you shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And you do what? You shall be my witnesses. Starting from where you are. Touch your neighbor to start from where you are. If you are in a sherry, start from a sherry. If you are in Wilma Street, start from Wilma Street. Start from where you are. Look at somebody eyeball to eyeball. Say, start from where you are. Start from where you are. They're only telling me when to go and start from Jerusalem. Jerusalem is far. Only they transfer money to get to Jerusalem. <laughs> it's a lot of money. Start from where you are. Your domain. That's where to start. Because until they hear from you, they will not believe. Those who are classmates, until they hear from you that Jesus is Lord, they will not believe. Jesus told them, go ye to all nations. Before you go to any nation, start from where you are. Start from where you are. If you are a teacher, start from the school where you are teaching. If you are a student, start from the school where you are studying. If you are a boy, start from the compound where you are a boy. Start from where you are. Today, I'm not going to preach today. I'll just tell you the stories in Matthew 25 because that Matthew 25 is very seriously loaded. It's all about the kingdom. It's all about the kingdom. It's all about the kingdom. There are three very serious parables in Matthew 25. So because if we are celebrating the, 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 the covenant day of the kingdom, we need to understand and have an idea of what Jesus wants us to do to qualify to be members of that kingdom. Matthew 25, the first parable there talks about the parable of the virgins. Ten virgins. All of them were virgins. All the ten people in that parable were all virgins. But there was a wedding. The ten virgins were all invited to a special wedding. And coming to that wedding, five of them came with their lantern filled with kerosene while five of them did not have enough kerosene in their lantern because they didn't know the time that the bridegroom will come so five of them came thinking that okay maybe they will meet the bridegroom already on ground but they didn't know that it would take quite some time before the bridegroom will come so some of them had oil in their lamp some did not have oil in the, in the, in the, when they blew the trumpet, pam, 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 the bridegroom has come. Everybody wake up, prepare yourself for your wedding, dress up in your, in your, in your best clothes, and then walk in majestically. The wedding time is ready. It was discovered that five people, five out of the ten virgins, 50% did not have enough oil in their lamp to last them through the period of wedding. So they started to look for help. Hallelujah. What's the lesson here? They went to the ladies that had oil in their lamp and said, Please give us a little bit of your oil because what we have will not be enough to last us through the wedding. What was the answer? Go to them that sell and buy for yourself. Hello? Go to them that sell and buy for yourself. That's the picture of this our life. So people come to life prepared. So people come unprepared. They come whatever they see, they take. Others come prepared. They loaded their lantern with kerosene. They don't know when the bridegroom will come. If it takes for another three days, they are going to wait. They have come to meet with the bridegroom and meet with the bridegroom. They must. They really come hoping that somebody is going to help them. They came prepared. Hallelujah. Jesus said, don't say tomorrow 
I'm going to be a nice man. I will live my life right. Starting from next year, I will go to church. Starting from next year, I will greet everybody I see. Starting from next year, I will be a very nice man. I will start to serve God in the church. I will join the choir department. Starting from next year. You see, because your life is not in your hand. You remember that rich fool? He said, wow, what a harvest. Look at the harvest I've harvested from Miami. Say, and now I tell my soul, relax. The time for your enjoyment has come. And Jesus came knocking. He said, this night, your soul is required of you. Die. Because you don't know the hour. Live your life prepared. Every day prepared. To meet with your God prepared. Every day prepared. Jesus can come at any time. You don't know the hour. Live your life prepared, brother. Before you go to bed. Oh, they interviewed one man. 117 year old man. I think in Iceland he was in time. Like, what is it you are doing at 117? You are still joking. You are still going out for your morning walk. What is the secret? The man said, My secret. Number one secret. Before I sleep every night, I check my list. Have I offended anybody? And if I like I've offended somebody, I call the Please, I am very sorry. Forgive me. That I I I forgive everybody before I sleep. I the people I suspect they have something against me, I call them and I apologize to them. See, that's my secret. At 117, is still doing early morning jogging. Prepare! God can come at any time. Don't wait and say, ah, this year the problems are too many, let this year pass. No. You've got to be prepared. God is not going to stand alarm and say, tomorrow I'm coming. Live your life as if God is coming the next moment. As if the trumpet shall sound the next morning. Hallelujah. So the women that did not have, they were all virgins. We are not saying they were sinners. They were all virgins. They were pure. Chase spouse. But those people that did not have oil in their lamp, they were called foolish. They were not prepared. They took many things for granted. Don't take this life for granted. Ah, 24 hours in a day. When I sleep now, ah, we'll wake up. Uh, 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 uh. Have you been able to wake yourself up any day? Are you the one that woke yourself up this morning? You don't know how you will sleep. Some of us even sleep and turn our head to face our leg. Some of us even sleep and fall on the ground from the bed. You don't know how you slept last night. A demon may have been sleeping on top of your head. You don't know. But God woke you up this morning. I pray one day God will open your eyes so that you see that even in the room you are sleeping, there are so many demons. Some are sitting on your head, some are sitting on your leg. But God makes sure they didn't harm you. You woke up this morning. And you are telling me, when you sleep today, you will wake up like this. You are making a big mistake. Be prepared! That's the message. The kingdom of God is at hand. Be prepared! For those of you who were in this church in 2010, if somebody told you that you are going to buy a bag of rice for 60,000 naira, would you have believed it? When I told people that they are going to sell, they are going to sell cement for 5,000 naira a bag, some people were like, they wanted to stone me. You say, Pastor, what are you talking? Cement is only uh, 1,002. We are saying it's too expensive. You are telling us 5,000 will be begging to buy. How much is cement now? Be prepared. Now, Jesus told another parable. The parable of the talent. This one he gave five talents. This one he gave two talents. This one he gave one talent. The one that gave five talents was able to pay his students' school fees and they was able to do his own business and was able to make a profit of five talents. Another one, two talents, the same thing. But the one that was given one talent went and dug the ground and put the one, one talent. And some people say, his stone was too small. I said, please, go and look at your Bible encyclopedia. One talent. One talent was 600 denarii. Denarii. A denarii is a, a skilled laborer's daily wage. Hallelujah. In Isheri today, a denarii is 7,000 naira. If you have a small calculator, check it out. 7,000 times 600. 
That's what somebody went to dig in the ground and put. He said, it's too small because he gave another bit of land. And the Bible is clear. He gave them according to their several abilities. According to what they can handle. There are some of us here we can handle millions. There are some of us here who want us to commit suicide today, today. Give us 10 million. In another two hours, there will be an obituary announcement. One boy in the U.S. last week, he won, he, he won jackpot. $16 million. The next day, he was a dead man. What happened? He went to buy a flying car. And all his friends, he went inside and they were flying. They flew into the water and that was the end of the story. They flew into the Pacific Ocean. Everybody dead. God will not give you a blessing that will destroy you. According to their several abilities. You have 10,000 today. Brother, thank God for that 10,000. Walk with that 10,000. God begin to give you ability for 100,000. Walk with the 100,000. God begin to give you ability for 1 million. Walk with the 1 million. God begin to give you ability for 10 million. God cannot give you blessing that will be too much for you and destroys you. Amen. The man that was given one talent was angry. He refused to work with his one talent. What was the solution? He was sent to hell. First, he didn't just go to hell. They sent him first to torment us, to flog him, to beat him, to torture him. Sickness, malaria, typhoid fever, spongulitis, arthritis, head pain, leg pain, ankle pain, body pain. Hunger! Lack! Want! When he was seriously tormented at the end, he was sent to hell. The demand that was given five talents, who made five talent profit, Jesus applauded him and even collected the one extra talent and dashed him. That is, he said, this is how the kingdom of God operates. He that have much will have much more. And he that have little, even the little he has, will be collected from him. What is that little you are having you are not making use of? May the Lord not collect it from you in Jesus' name. The blessing that God has blessed you with and you didn't value it. You did not value it. Some of us, we know how to sing. We don't value it. Some of us, we know how to dance. We don't value it. May the Lord not collect that little blessing you have from you in the name of Jesus Christ. The thing you don't value cannot multiply. The thing you don't value, you cannot multiply. Watch yourself. Because many times we have so many reasons to complain. Who doesn't have reason to complain? Everybody has reason to complain. But why are we always rejoicing? Because the Bible says, rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say, rejoice. Philippians 4 verse 4. We are rejoicing because the Bible commands us to rejoice. Hallelujah. Malachi chapter 3, 17 to 19. Though the fig tree did not blossom, yet will I glory in God. When it's as if things are not working, we are still dancing. The thing has to work while we are dancing. And we continue to dance. So our enemies don't even know at what point sin started to work for us. Hallelujah. Malachi chapter 2, from verse 1 to 3. The Bible says, because you did not give me glory, I will cause your blessing. Oh, he said, hey, I have caused it already. I'll rub down on your faces and cause your blessing. So, sir, we just need to give glory to God. Somebody say, glory be to God. We continue to give glory to God. We continue to celebrate God because he has helped us. He has helped us. Say, for he that must be a steward, he must be what? Faithful. He must be what? Faithful. Still what? You are still what? This thing is 2,000. You say, my God is not around. You sell it 5,000. Are you faithful? Is that a faithful still what? No. Every still what is required to be faithful. First Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 2. It is a requirement for every still what that the still what should be Faithful. I pray for you that you'll be faithful in Jesus' name. In the third parable, 
the parable of the sheep and the goat. He said, in that day, the master will separate between the sheep and the goat. The sheep he put on his right hand, the goat he put on his left hand. And to the sheep he said, when I enter into the joy of my kingdom, when I was hungry, you gave me to eat. When I was thirsty, you gave me to drink. I was a stranger, you took me in. When I had nothing to wear, you gave me your clothes. I was in prison, you came to visit me. Enter into the joy of your Lord. And to the goat he said, hey. You go, I was thirsty, you didn't give me to drink. I was hungry, you didn't give me to eat. I was a stranger, you did not receive me. I was, uh, 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 I, I was an outcast, you have no sympathy for me. Now enter into hellfire. I say, oh, Master, where did we see you hungry? Where did we see you thirsty? Where did we see you an outcast? Where did you... He said, as long as you have done this, Jesus now narrowed the kingdom of God to one man. Any man, any human being that you know that carries the image of God, that is a man made by God, person carries the kingdom. As long as you have done it to the least of my brethren, you have done it unto me. You are frying, you are chicken, and you are chopping, and even wasting. And your neighbor, your next door, the same compound is dying of hunger. As long as you've done this to the least of my brethren, you have done it unto me. So don't look at the kingdom of God, but it's not far again. Every man you are seeing here is carrying the kingdom of God. Are you listening to me now? Hello, sir. Are you listening to me? This man was made in the image and the likeness of God. So he's carrying God's kingdom. When you offend him, you've offended the kingdom. The kingdom of God is where? Within you. Is where? Within you. Touch your chest and say, I'm carrying the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is within you. So let's be careful how we deal with human beings. Let's be careful how we deal with our neighbors, our friends, the people we call our enemies. Let's be careful because it might look as if the person is a non-entity, is a nobody, but God loves him. So when you offend that person, when you brutalize that person, when you manhandle that person, when you are very wicked to that person, you are wicked to God's kingdom and God counts it against you. So as we reflect on these things today, my brother and my sister, I want your heart to be softened towards humanity. The only thing God owns in this world is human being. You and I. As we relate with ourselves and we are able to consider one another in every decision of life that we have to take, then are we God's children indeed. So in this very solemn day, my brothers and sisters, I want to appeal to you that you will do the master's recommendation and be a faithful steward indeed. Your master is not standing by your side. He's given you the chance. He has traveled for a long while, but he expects you to be able to represent him in whatever thing you are doing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Bible says, store up your riches and wealth where the moth and rust cannot enter to destroy. How? Every good you are doing to somebody, not because it's your father, not because it's your mother, not because it's your brother, not because it's your sister. Because he is a human being created in the image and the likeness of God. Every good you are doing to anybody on that premise that God created it, you are building your treasures in heaven. Matthew chapter 6, 19 and 20. You are building your treasures in heaven. No, Jesus told them in Matthew chapter 6 from verse 1 to 4. He said, when you want to give alms, don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. For instance, you cannot say, I, I'm, I'm, I dash this, I've been bought 10,000. You should never say so. Nobody should ever hear that from your mouth. He said, if you say so, you have already collected your reward. But if you are doing good and nobody knows what good you have done to Mr. A or Mr. B, he say you are saving your wealth and riches in heaven. And your father, we saw you in secret, he will reward you openly. 
May the Lord reward you openly in the name of Jesus. I say, may the Lord reward you openly in the name of Jesus Christ. Every secret adventure that you are getting involved in blessing the lives of men, encouraging the brethren in the church, sewing uniform for somebody, doing something good that enables the person to serve God. May the Lord release your blessings for you in the name of Jesus Christ. He said, don't, don't, don't. That's why I say you want to pray. Enter into your room and lock your door. You know, in the mosaic law, people pray where other people will see them. Pray the where people will see them. Oh Lord, give me money. Oh Lord, make me rich. Oh Lord, make me this. They pray where people will see them and hear their prayers. Why? They want to prove to people that they know how to pray. They want to prove to people that they can quote the Bible when they pray. But Jesus said, when you want to pray, enter into your closet lock your door sir you may not have a room but you can close your eyes when you close your eyes the bible says the eye is the light of the body you lock it when you close your eyes you can concentrate you can pray and your heavenly father that hears you in secret he will reward you openly i see god releasing reward on you openly in jesus name I see this master, this is God, releasing reward upon you openly in the name of Jesus Christ. I see the blessing of the Lord making you rich and adding no sorrow to you in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. You know, somebody asked Jesus in Matthew 22, say, Master, which is the greatest commandment? And Jesus said, the greatest commandment is that you should love the Lord your God with all of your heart. Matthew 22 from verse 39. You should love the Lord your God with all of your heart, with all of your soul, with all of your spirit. And the second one is like it. You should love your neighbor as yourself. He said, these two contain the entire law and the prophet. The whole of the Old Testament from the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 to the book of Malachi chapter 4 is contained in these two statements. All oh, the laws and the prophets. So how do you see this? That's why Jesus needed to use what you have done to the list of my brethren. What you have done, I told the people in the midweek service, I said God came to visit a town and they didn't see God physically, but what they saw was people with broken legs, hungry people, people with, who are naked, people that they could not walk, those that have infirmities in one form or the other, because God wanted to prove to them whether or not they love humanity. See, if you cannot love your neighbor, you don't love God. If you don't have sympathy for somebody who's crying, you don't love God. If you cannot give your food to the hungry you don't love god sir the truth is this the god we are looking for is all living around and about us he's all living with us so let's change let's change today today is the day of salvation and the bible says you are god's workmanship god walked you it was god that walked you and brought you out we're going to take the communion now but this communion is going to have a spiritual impact in your life to turn you to be what god wants you to be that you will be able to value humanity to be able to love people to be able to serve god with all of your energy and with everything that is in you may the lord give us grace in the name of jesus christ i say may the lord give us grace in the name of jesus I say, may the Lord give us grace in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord give us grace in the name of Jesus Christ. So on a special day like this, how do we round it off? We want to say, John 3, 16, that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, his best gift, he gave it to the world. Even when nobody had repented, he gave it with the hope that people would begin to repent. He gave his best. That whosoever believed in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. That's God for you. And God expects us to do the same. Sir, do you love God? Hello, sister, do you love God? Brothers, do you love God? If you love God, then you got to give. Give God your time. Kingdom stewardship. Give God your money. Give God 
your talents, your skills, the spiritual gift you are flowing with now, it was God that gave it, gave it to you for free. He expects you to reinvest those gifts and those talents in his business if you want to be a happy man. Give God your time. How much time do you use in prayer? How much time do you use to come to church? How much time do you use in fellowship? How much time do you use to serve God? Give God your time. I, I talked with a sister some time ago. I said, sister, what do you do with your time? I said, ah, pastor, I'm very busy. I said, eh? what are you doing? You say you are unemployed, and then you are very busy. Are you sure you really need a job? Pastor, I need a job, Shabbat. Right now, I'm very, very busy. I said, what do you do? He said, I do Facebook. 20 hours. Are you, I managed to sleep for 4 hours. I say Facebook, and you are still very busy. He said, Pastor, I cannot lie to you. I am very busy. I said, then you don't need a job. Do they pay money for doing Facebook? He said, no. I just the names of people and the different story that I'm watching. It's okay. That's a good job. You better look for where you can do Facebook and they can be paying you money because many people are getting paid by Facebook. Why are you working for them for free? Many of us are so foolish. We have head. Your head can be as big as this mountain, but there is no sense inside. What? That nobody is paying you and you are doing it? Are you not mad? Listen to me, my brother. Jesus says, store up your riches and wealth where the rust and the mud cannot consume. Sir, look for a job that will pay you salary. Amen. Facebook have made their money. Even if you don't work for them in the next 35 years, they will not show one cover. Twitter, they are, now they say they are Mr. X. X, they have made their money. Even if you don't even open to Twitter, for the next 10 million years, they cannot become poor. They are still very rich. Am I talking to you? So why waste your energy going to make people who are rich to be richer and then you have nothing? Think about this. Serve God with your time. Everybody has 24 hours. Put in some hours there and serve God. Serve God with your talent. If nothing else, you can dance. That's a great talent. Develop it. If nothing else, you can sing. That's a powerful talent. Develop it. If nothing else, you can understand some Arabic writings. That's a good one. Develop it. So, serve God with your treasure, your money. That thing God has given to you. And you know what? The Bible says in Malachi chapter 3, it says, bring ye all the tithes into my storehouse. Eh? Not that so that pastor will become rich. No. That there might be food in my house. Do you know how many hungry people branch here only on Monday alone? Pastor, I'm hungry. Pastor, I'm hungry. Ah, this kind of hardship. That's why the gate of the church is always open. Anybody can come in. Pastor, I'm hungry. Oh, Pastor, I'm hungry. Pastor, I'm hungry. Bring it so that there might be food. There might be meat in my house. And that I might take pleasure in it. You don't know who is chopping your tights. You don't know. But God said that I might take pleasure. So every time somebody comes to church to ask for help, and the person is helped, God takes pleasure and blesses the people and the sources of such income. He said, when you have two coats and your brother asks you for one, give him the two. This is how we will be blessed. We cannot be singing the kingdom, the kingdom. You know all the sweet, sweet songs, but you are not practicing Christianity. Today is a day of God's visitation. Turn your heart and serve God. He's the God of the kingdom. The kingdom Jesus was preaching, this is the same kingdom we are talking about here. Righteousness, joy, and peace in the Holy Ghost. That is in the kingdom of God. So let's try to do good. You can leave this service with this understanding that this rice, the rice you cook this evening, you share and give to your neighbors. I say, ah, maybe when I follow us chop, oh, today we are just chopping the love rice. Serve them. 
what are you doing you are doing the work of the kingdom may the lord give us wisdom in jesus name i say may the lord give us wisdom in the name of jesus and those of you nobody has ever tested your rights since you came to lagos today today somebody must eat out of that your rice repent you eat your thing alone you eat, you eat alone you clean your mouth finish eating and clean your mouth ah brother jesus is lord to god be the glory they say how the sunday now ah we thank god waiting day now ah brother nothing there you don't eat finish may god have mercy may god have mercy you don't eat finish ah brother nothing there we just they look baba we they look baba god hypocrisy may the lord deliver you from hypocrisy in jesus name let's do good to people jesus said if you give to those who are giving to you what's the difference between you and the pharisee he said give to those people that don't even give to you give to them this is how to show that you love god this is how to show that god is good to you how can you tell me that god is good and then you are good to nobody if your god is good wouldn't you want to be good as your god is good hallelujah so the communion we take today is a different kind of communion there is an injection inside this communion that will turn your brain to begin to love god to begin to do good to people to begin to serve god as if there's no tomorrow and the lord will open our eyes of understanding in the name of jesus christ hallelujah hallelujah so please i want you to be conscious of the fact that god is in control and there's nothing that god cannot do amen amen hallelujah hallelujah please let's be upstanding we want to take the communion even so to prepare ourselves for the next level that god is saying as you begin to serve god and serve god in his kingdom i see god enlarging your ghost in the name of jesus i see god lifting you to higher levels of expansion and experience in the name of jesus christ the bible talks about jesus he said he took the bread it was a normal bread they used to eat in that place and lifted it up and blessed it and then gave it to his apple and said eat of it this is the bread of the new covenant and they ate it that same evening he took the cup so this is my blood given for you and as you eat it remember me he lifted up the cup, he blessed the bread and gave it to his disciples. He said, drink all of it. Brothers and sisters, as we partake in this table today, there will be a marked difference because we shall be serving God in spirit and in truth in the name of Jesus Christ. By the way, if you are here and you have any form of sickness in your body or pain of any size, as this communion will enter into your body, that sicknesses, diseases will disappear permanently forever in the name of Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter somebody casts a spell on you or curse you or place you under a curse or send ghosts to come and slap you. By the reason of the blood of Jesus and by the broken body of Jesus Christ, every divination brought against you shall turn to zero in the name of Jesus Christ. If you are here, you have lost your business idea or you have lost enthusiasm for progress in life, as you will partake of this communion table, the Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 27, as they nail Jesus' hand and his blood drop on the ground, the Bible says that even those people who were dead, they rose up from the dead and came out of their graves. Every divine idea, every business solution, every idea for expansion that you had, every provision for God's blessing that was missed as you partake of this communion table tonight, they, they, they will rise up again. The divine ideas will come up again. Your wisdom for wisdom invention will be released into your life 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, we bless, O oh God, the broken body of Jesus and the blood of Jesus Christ. You promise us in your word, in the book of Exodus chapter 12, that when you see the blood, the angel of death shall pass over the people. Lord, you will see the blood today. No one shall die prematurely in this church in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, you will see the blood and every divine idea in the lives of men shall wake up afresh. They will have wisdom for wisdom invention. They shall be successful in whatever they do. And in every place they go, they shall have testimonies. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, come upon and consume this bread and consume this wine and turn them into the broken body of Jesus and into the blood of Jesus. Let there be manifestations as your people partake of this glorious table. Father, we thank you for what you have done already. Be exalted, our Father. Be exalted, our God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And everybody say, Amen. Communion is ready, ushers, please help us to be orderly. One by one, let's come, take the bread, drink the wine, and then go back to your seat praying, come praying, and let the name of the Lord be glorified. This is my body, broken for you, and as you any other day today god must visit you release yourself you need to kneel down you can kneel down you need to stand up you can stand up but you must call you must connect with heaven and you must connect with heaven it is not the same thing yes jesus ah you can see the blood you can see the blood let the angel of death pass over me let them pass over me you can see my blood you can see the blood of jesus i've taken it and drunk it let the angel of death pass over me anything that kills Keep power, keep progress, keep life. Let it pass over me, Baba. Razata la hope and ikata. Razata ni 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 na ni 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 na. Razata tali kata lo tolo lo koro kate te 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 te. Every sickness, recurrent sicknesses, recurrent diseases that come and go, that come and go. Right now, standing on the blood, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the power. Eta kalakato, rabraksha talabra. Eta da 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 da
la voto ton a coach et chez télé rida la voto loco chia a décrit en déclare nothing dies prematurely in my life anymore in the name of jesus christ i decree i declare the business i lay my hand upon to do the bible says say to the righteous it is well with you uh, that god will bless the work of your doings uh, yes uh, i can see the blessing of the lord the bible says uh, in isaiah 48 and verse 17 uh, you see it is the lord that teaches you how to make profit yes that same god is here to teach you how to make profit to open doors before you to take you to high levels uh, to break uh, to bless you to increase you that 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 will take a rock of shadow uh, so when you have eaten and you are full uh, you shall build goodly houses and you shall live in them uh, and for many of us who are sitting and uh, this is the hour to connect with the power that will make you a landlord this is the hour this is the hour but they can look to can look out to key or that they can look at me that 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 do be a rubber shot at do that look at those that could take it but that we got to get a little bit here no evil shall come near your dwelling place no evil shall be for you no power shall bring you down the glory of the lord shall be upon you and that 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 hey somebody pray everybody pray everybody pray pa 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 ra ka ta ka a pra ra ka bra ka ra ka ta a ra ra ka ra ka ni da da a la zi ta la 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 de da a la sha ta la ka te la la za ta la ka ba ba a ra vo sha ta la ko ta the blessing of the lord make every shall not end no sorrow the blessing of the lord is upon you muri ma de ka bo sha ra zo to to lo zi ta la ka bro ko she di da de 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 da in jesus name we pray Lift up your right hand above your head and say, I shall not die. I will live to declare the works of the Lord. Where are you? Let up hear your voice and say, I shall not die. I will live to declare the works of the Lord. Somebody say, Father, I come to you standing on your word. Psalm 118. Verse 17. I shall not die. I will live to declare the works of the Lord. Turn it into prayer. Turn it into prayer. Turn it into prayer. Everything that kills people can never kill me. I am the apple of God's eye. Hey, Bob, that day, but I get that a lot of water. I am the apple of God's eye. The Bible says the city set upon a hill cannot be hidden. No man can kill me. No power can bring me down. I carry the fire of God down. Rashata la do da de kabo da te. Rashata le kakosha. Rakita la 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 do da. Rale ka le kakoshanto. Yakale. In the month of October, in the month of November, in the month of December, nothing dies in my house. Nothing dies around me. Male, we shall have the kakoshi tiri, we shall have the kakoshi tiri, we shall have the kakoshi tiri. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody pray this one. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray the works of my hand receive your blessing right now everything I lay my hand upon to do receive the blessing of the Lord and the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 10 verse 22 that the blessing of the Lord make it rich and add no sorrow according to Isaiah chapter 3 verse 10 the Bible says say to the righteous it is well with you The Lord will bless the works of your doing. Father, my connection with you makes me a righteous man. I say to myself, it is well with me. It is well with the works of my hand. Begin to pray and bless the works of your hand. Father, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, starting from today, the work of my hand begin to multiply and increase, enlarge and expand. In the name of Jesus, Father, because you are faithful and because you are righteous, because you are holy and you are able to do all things well. Therefore, now, Lord, you will never let me fail. On any of my brothers fail. As many that are here with me in church, we are all brothers and sisters. And I pray for them that you will bless the works of your heart and lash their goals expand their horizon perfect their imperfection bring them to the place where they will have a reason to celebrate your faithfulness thank you lord because you have answered this prayer in jesus name we pray amen hallelujah hallelujah 
We are going to pray starting from today to cover to December 31st this year. Success is your second name in Jesus' name. The Lord will bless you. You are going out and bless you are coming in. In the name of Jesus Christ. I say the Lord will bless you indeed in the name of Jesus. The Lord will bless you indeed in the name of Jesus. You have stories of testimonies of joy, testimonies of enlargement, expansion, increase, and blessings. In Jesus' name we pray. Lift up your right hand and say, Heavenly Father, I am standing on your word. In Isaiah 48, verse 17, the Bible says that it is you that teacheth my hand to make profit from today, Lord. I make profit in my going out. I make profit in my coming in. I make profit in every business endeavor that I find myself. I make profit by the living and the encounter I have had with you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Go ahead and bless the work of your hand. Bless the work of your hand. Your customers shall be many. They will be looking for you. They will be waiting for you. Yes, your wealth shall be increasing at the end of this year. This last quarter, every blessing that God has brought your way will be increasing. You will have reason to testify. You have reason to celebrate the faithfulness of God, the righteousness of God, the holiness of God. Open doors. Open favors. God is bringing your way. It is well. It is well with you. Multiplication. Favor unspeakable. And last a blessing, increase, multiplication. God is bringing your way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, in this last quarter we pray, oh God, preservation for every soul in the name of Jesus Christ. Bible says that he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. No evil shall befall anyone that's in this service in the name of Jesus. No evil shall befall any member of this church in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, we ask for peace. We ask for guidance. We ask for protection. A thousand shall fall by their side. And ten thousand by their right side. It shall never come near them in the name of Jesus. Lord, you will protect your people, O God, from the evil world. In the name of Jesus. Lord, you send your angels to bear them up with their hands. And they will not have hit their leg against a stone. No accident, no incident for any member of New Life Covenant Church in this last quarter of the year. In the name of Jesus Christ. The blessing of the Lord shall make them rich. Lord, everyone here shall become rich. Your blessing shall make them rich. You shall not add sorrow to them. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Thank you for this service you've taken us through. Thank you for this month as we round up this teaching on the kingdom of God. Father, Lord, continue to enlarge the coast of your children. Let them enjoy favor in their different places of work. Let them enjoy favor in the compound where they stay. Let them enjoy favor everywhere they go. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And everybody say... Put those hands together for Jesus and the Lord. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is well with you in Jesus' name.